Uh, hello everybody here. Today's uh, September 13th and I'm not driving on the road. I'm in the ditch. Just uh, I'm not endangering anyone's life out here in the ditch. But anyhow, I guess I'm doing a little update here. I'm in that video on cutting this my millet field. There's my dad's millet field uh, a few days ago or whatever and I uh, had to be gone for a wedding and stuff. My brother ended up doing the baling while I was gone and, and a little bit when I got back. But anyhow, he got it all bailed up or it got it all bailed up when I was uh, unavailable to do any filming or anything like that. So uh, needless to say, I'm gonna do a little video on how many bales are in this field. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you what they look like. All right, well, we're just walking away from the pickup here. I'm gonna walk out and show you guys these bales. I'm gonna go up there with it. The camera turned this way and and uh, show you how tall they are. And then we're gonna guess the weight. And uh, and we'll go from there. These bales have set for a few days, so they're about eye level. You can get on my tiptoes and get taller, but. I level with me, according to my monitor, they're, I'm making them about 70 inches. And I think that it's right, except they've settled, so they are got a little flat bottom now. So they got that flat bottom, and they're a little shorter than what they were, but real happy with this field. Um, we started out planting rye last fall on it. We uh, grazed the rye off this spring till roughly the 10th of May. Um, after we got graze that off we let the rye grow back which are our vi there is videos of that um, on the progress and I really didn't think it was going to amount to anything but it ended up getting about three bales an acre I think 174 or 71 or something like that bales out here off the with the rye came out after that um, I, I did burn it down I, I sprayed it off the weeds that were coming and stuff and I ended up planting uh, um, the millet after that and the millet sat in the ground for six or seven weeks and did not grow except for a few small areas I also have some of that on video and some of my older videos and then we got some rain luckily and and uh, luckily we got some rain and it made this millet grow and once it started growing it, it really took off um, fast and we ended up getting 184 bales off of that. And I did not have my baler maxed out by no means. Um, I don't need any 2,000 pound bales, I guess. But I did have it turned up pretty good. They're probably 17 to 1,800 pounds would be my educated guess with how they feel and what they look like and, and stuff. But man, here's a, a little spot that we missed here. And I'm just gonna show you that hay. Oh, it just looks really good. I can't wait to get the samples back. Our nutritionist was actually here today and took uh, some nutrition samples of this. And I will be making a video of that um, when I get some more samples in for everyone to know. Get in, let's go. Good girl. So we'll get that video of that going um, sometime when I got a chance. An extra moment or two. Um, to do that so anyhow I guess you if you guys have any questions on this uh, I still have my millet to bail the hail really set it back bad so I never got it put up yet I'm gonna probably wait another week or two possibly I do have a custom job I need to do um, here in the next week or so we will see when I find time to do that I'm actually maybe going to go over and look at it this evening yet right now go from there I guess but we'll uh, see you on the next one like I said I, I apologize for not getting any baling footage or raking footage um, but I'll see maybe it'll work out next time but it just didn't work out this time because I was gone so uh, please leave your comments below and if there's anything you guys want to see just let me know and if I have time I'll get a video of it have a good day everyone bye